<laughs> Good afternoon. I, uh, please pardon my tardiness. I, um, yesterday I was on like a, I was just like working on a completely, oh, and volume, hold on, sorry. Uh, yesterday I was working on like another project and, uh, I, wa I didn't want it to interfere with my schedule, but I, it did, but I got it almost pretty much done mostly. Like I got most of it out of the way, so. Uh, then, so then the other reason I kind of let it ha let that happen is because I've been saying I want to start streaming on the weekends, or at least, at least want to try it, just to see who watches on the weekends, and, uh, I, but then whenever, the, but I've been putting in, like, 30 hours during the week, and so then when the weekends come around, I, um, I tend to find every excuse not to do it, uh, but I, I, like, I ran errands this morning, and, like, I, uh, I don't know. I might actually stream this weekend. That might actually happen. Uh, which is cool. I don't know. I've been looking forward to trying that. So, uh, I, I, I still want to hit, I still want to hit 30 this week. I, um, I've only put in like eight and a half though. So yeah, we're gonna, but so then the good news is that I, uh, I, I don't have a specific stop, stopping point this evening. Although I guess if I do eight today, then, uh, That'll put me to 10.30, which is cool. That's a, <laughs> that's a big day of development. Actually, I lied when I said <laughs> I was working on another project yesterday. <laughs> I actually, like, slept until, like, 6 o'clock. <laughs> until, like, 6 in the evening. And then, um, and then I got up and I worked on another project until, like, 5 in the morning. Um, <laughs> but like I said, it was, it was pretty much done, so, yeah, uh, anyway, oh, I, I have a bad habit of, of, like, having, like, just a blank browser window at the start, because I usually just, like, closed whatever browser window I was looking at. When I fire it up, I apologize, uh, that is even less interesting than, uh, <laughs> than this, which is not especially interesting unto itself, um. Actually, I'm going to go back to the browser, but I'm going to put something in it. Uh, specifically, I'm going to put in the list of, of stuff that I want to do for here. Uh, because... Oh, oops, that's not actually the list. <laughs> uh, it's not the list I was looking for. Um, yeah, because I want to... Oh, I did this. Yeah, this one in bold. Uh, I did this one the other day. And, uh, and the reason I came to this list is because I think I want to do... Uh, do a few more of these. So, um, I think actually, yeah, these two at the end here, I w I wanted to do these on, um, when was it? Tuesday, I guess was the last day I streamed. I wanted to do these, uh, on Tuesday, but I, I, I just called it because I had a thing to go to. And then I went to the thing and I had too much to drink and then I got really hung over Wednesday morning and I slept until six. So now you know the whole story. That was... <laughs> <laughs> Literally everything that happened since uh, since last I was online. Uh, <laughs> I ordered breakfast because I didn't have anything that was good. I just wanted, I just needed something a really greasy breakfast yesterday, <laughs> and so I ordered it, and then it took forever to show up, and I was like dying. <laughs> it's a it's a really difficult life that I live. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think I started on cheat strength at the end of the game. I started changing things, and then I didn't. I didn't actually. I didn't. I didn't actually cross this one off. So I'm gonna bold these two just so I. So I, as a reminder to myself to do them right now, um, and uh, stop wandering and re restart. That'd be fun, but I honestly have no clue why I was doing it right now. So. That probably avail. I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm just gonna italicize that as a reminder. Uh, scorch marks. I still want to do. I can do scorch marks now. I think I think I'm I'm th I think I'm set up to to do scorch marks. I, I, the only thing I really need to do is is make the uh, the asset for the scorch marks on the ground, which I guess that was like part of the part of it was a. Uh, slowing me down, or like, I wasn't, I'm not sure exactly how I want to render that. I mean, I basically want it to look like a scorch mark on the ground, like as if something had just detonated at that location. 
Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Or maybe I won't. I might, I might actually not do this at all. We'll see. <laughs> uh, counteract mobs, uh, crowding jitter. Um, yeah, that's, that, that might become a problem. Oh, yeah, the other thing, one of the things we did on Tuesday was to toy with the movement speed of mobs. And that led to really awkward situations, but actually, I think... Oh, yeah, I remember. We did, uh, we did the setup work for, um, for cheating strength because we put in a maximum mob health. So there's, like, now a point at which it caps, and it won't ruin everything if we, uh... If we if we just jack up uh, strength right at the end of the game, uh, so I still need to I still need to implement how to jack up strength. But I think yeah, that was the setup work that we started on right at the end of the stream. Uh, some mobs carry mods instead of cookies. That could be nice. That could be good. Uh, rearrangeable power buttons. Oh, wonderful news! And I have uh, and I have like uh paint.net <laughs> on this uh, on this computer as was recommended to me on uh, Monday when uh, when so much time was spent on <laughs> just inferior uh, uh, paint programs so I know this one isn't like like the, the it's not deluxe or anything but uh, I, I, if I actually have to, if I have to edit assets today that won't be like an arduous process I'm hoping I'm thinking I'm thinking it might not be an arduous process uh, so rearrangeable power buttons I want to do but not today animate something between games that's that's very low priority mobs rotation I don't know uh, cookie knockback and elasticity uh, maybe I feel very impartial about all of those things because they're much bigger things to 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 get to specifically game balance because that's it's an important thing. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to think of a well balanced meal joke to go there, but n nothing came to mind. Uh, so yeah, all right. So let's finish cheating strength and then let's tone down how multiplier access strength on dash. Uh, we are working on hero. And yeah, uh, right. So, so what do we want to do? I guess we could go to the part where mobs are freed. Uh, yeah. So, so when mobs are saved, that's the point at which we might be approaching the end of a. Uh, the end, like, we might be reaching our, our target, so, I guess I want to say if what, um, I guess at that point, I, we just want to start cranking up strength, kind of across the board, so, yeah, um, alright, so let's say, uh, let's say, uh, I think we, we want to just start flatly messing with strength. Like, I was thinking, like, should we add in another value, and then where strength is calculated, like, factor in this other value, but I think it's... I think it actually just be simpler to... Well, let's see how often strength is calculated. Uh, pow. Actually, yeah, I think, uh... Now that I think about it, it... Uh... I don't think it actually comes up that often. I remember when we were, uh... When we're adding in uh, super. Yeah, we didn't actually have to add it in very many places. So yeah. All right. Yeah, maybe we will actually just do that. So I'll just say what like uh, uh, I could put it with a uh, mob saves to win. Uh, so. Sure. Uh, not public. Public? Yeah, public. Public float. Um, uh, victory. 
crash, I'm gonna call it, because this is like, when you're right at the end, like, you get, you get supercharged, kind of, and I think I'll just make everything ramp towards, like, twice as powerful, or three times as powerful, for starters. Uh, so yeah, so now where we use strength, oh wait, actually, wait, victory rush, yeah, alright, so, so wait, uh, I'll, I'll call this victory rush max. And then, uh, and then we'll have a, just a float for victory rush, uh, which will start at zero. No, it'll start at one, because it's multiplicative. Um, so, yeah, uh, right, so we'll want to set it to one for starters, and then also when we reset the game, we'll want to set it back to one. Uh, uh, end game. I guess we could do an end game. Is that when we? That's when we reset all the powers. So. Uh, might as well do it here. So yeah. Uh, Victory rush equals one. Um, and then so yeah. So then the other part, the other place we want to. Uh, do uh, uh oh well okay so yeah so let's uh, let's put it places before we, before I forget to um so right so power strength does stuff sometimes all right here we go nope not there <laughs> here we go uh there it is uh so right now it's power strength plus super mod etc cetera, etc cetera. right uh, let's okay. So now let's also multiply in um, victory rush. So for most of the game, it's just times one, and uh, so it will have virtually no effect. And then uh, copy that. Uh, Uh, wow, yeah, there's so few <laughs> places that have fast strength, actually. Um, actually comes into effect. I mean, yeah, I guess I want to apply it to... Sure, why not? Uh, it's, it's a little gratuitous to put it to put it on path 3, to like have super affected by this as well. But I don't know. I can I can always change that if I if I decide later that I don't like that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, there we go. That's simple enough. Uh, but okay, so victory rush still doesn't do anything, and uh, we haven't put victory rush on mob strength. Uh, so there, I think there's only one place that we need to add this to mob strength. It's probably here. Yeah. Uh, uh, plus super mod times mob strength. Yeah. So multiply this term by it. Right? Wait, what is this? It. Wait. Does it? I feel like this vector only has two terms. Oh, right, yeah, no. It, the terms are all in there. Does it? No, it, yeah, it has three terms. I just, uh, I, I forgot. I just put the, this multiplication outside <laughs> of the vector, right? Okay. So, uh, yeah, alright, I'll just multiply it all in at the end. Alright. So, yeah. Victory rush usually just one, but let's make it sometimes more than one. Uh, specifically, let's make it more than one in the case that um, destroy mob. I think uh, is that a thing? Do a declaration. Is this where we want to do it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Victory rush. So, uh, 
Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I was gonna base it on mob count compared to. I was gonna factor in mob count with mob saved and mob saved to win, but I think I'm actually just gonna calculate. It. So victory rush is going to be a boost to strength across the board. When uh. Oh yeah. When uh when. You, when the so it's going to be based on the number of mobs you've currently saved and the number of mobs saved to win specifically if the difference between those like if you're if you're close enough to the the win condition for mo mobs expected i guess the total number of mobs expected so like the entire last wave of mobs you just get progressively more powerful through it i could probably try that all right so uh so, so then I'll say, okay, so, uh, so then we can say, uh, if, uh, mob saved, oh, do we, we actually don't actually, <laughs> excuse me, we don't actually calculate salvation until after, after this. Hold on. I'm going to just double check that real quick. Uh, yeah, because uh, mobs lost and mobs saved. Yeah, we don't calculate salvation until after it. So I guess I could just bump that. Bump this up and just have it happen beforehand. Because uh, there's no major difference between those two implementations. Uh, and mobs lost... I don't think matters actually. I don't think that's actually going to have an effect, but I don't know, whatever. I just want to do that anyways, whatever. I'll do it all now. <laughs> um, so, okay, if mobs uh, saved, uh, or not mobs saved, uh, if mobs saved to win, uh, minus mobs saved, uh, saved, if that is less than uh, the, the current expected number, X. Ex expect. Uh. Huh. I don't know why it's not autofilling, because I forget what it's called. It's like mobs expected. Fine, I'll look for it. Uh. Ex So, uh, yeah, so then it's all, here we go. Uh, so if it's less than, all right, so if the, if the number of mobs left until you reach the victory condition is less than, um, the current number of mobs, like, of expected on the battlefield, like, if this is the final wave of mobs, then, um, let's say victory rush, uh, equals, um, Hey, Nearly Delicious, how's it going? Long time. Uh, <laughs> I'm your favorite? <laughs> there are a lot of guys that don't wear shirts in this world, so I, I take that as, as a high compliment. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess maybe it's uh, just easy competition amongst that group, but I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> no, I take that as a compliment. Um, we're making it so that the at the end of the game you just get ridiculously powerful and you just kind of like, just kind of like stroll across the finish line basically or like blitz across the finish line I guess but like under no like, under no duress like it's just like, it's like you made it this far congratulations now here revel in this uh, this explosive finale, um, and we're doing this specifically because before it you could get into really awkward situations where the game took like forever to end and it was like no fun but um. Uh, so, yeah, right, so we have this Victory Rush scaler. I don't know if you, you saw us putting that in, but, um, Victory Rush is going to be, uh, right, so when you're on that last lap, it's going to be mob save to win. Yeah, it's going to be these terms again. So it's going to be, uh, this number 
divided by this number uh, times uh, victory victory rush max, right? So we just checked that this is in fact the smaller number. Oh wait, this is the smaller of the numbers. Yeah, right. Wait, no, one minus. Wait, hold on. Because <laughs> uh, we want, yeah, we want this to we want victory rush to scale up to victory rush max. So to do that. We want, um, <laughs> sorry, brain, math, uh, so we want this to approach one, but right now it's, it's going to do the opposite, right? It's going to approach zero because this number is just going to get incrementally, inc incrementally smaller. So yeah, I think we want to do one minus, uh, Wait, but that, if that starts at 1, so 2 minus? Wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, Matt. Hey, Mr. Reverend, how's it going? <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, the difference, or like the remaining, the remaining quantity versus the, the the quantity to like scale across. I think it's two minus. Wait, but then uh. Yeah, because this. No, this will go to zero eventually. <laughs> uh. I'll just go with one minus, I guess. No, it'd be two minus. All right, I'm gonna go with two minus because I don't care. It, we have victory rush max as a public value, and we can scale that as we need it. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully that's hopefully that's correct. Uh, so yeah, so so when this uh, so eventually this will be uh, come just like this will start at like for most of the game this will be in inordinately more than. Uh, expected mob count. Uh, but then eventually they'll they'll be equal. And I guess we could even do it when they're once they're equal, but whatever. Uh, and when so the, in the case where they're equal, this will basically be like one divided by one. Or it'll be like some number divided by itself, which is equivalent to one. So this will be two I oh know this will be two minus this will be one times victory rush max. So uh Oh, okay, wait, yeah, so I think we want, actually want it to be like one, uh, okay, yeah, we only want, yeah, we do want, because I, I was like thinking, wait, it's one plus, it's one plus one minus, et cetera, et cetera, and so I, that's why I kept coming up with two, one plus one, but only one of the ones <laughs> is multiplied by victory rush max, uh, and I guess I could actually do victory rush max minus one, but whatever, no, I'll just scale it. Uh, accordingly, uh, so, <laughs> so good then, <laughs> uh, this should work then, probably, <laughs> uh, and we can test this with not much difficulty, because we can just jack down the, um, jack down the, the number of mobs expected to win, and, uh, Uh, and then we should see some remarkable results. Uh, so, all right, so uh, mobs expected, or uh, mob saved to win is currently at 500, but let's put it down to like, um, let's just put it down to like 10. And so now when we run the simulation, uh, it should start out normal, but then as, uh, as mobs are introduced to the simulation, um, why is it chuggy? That's weird. 
Uh, so I'm not going to actually do anything, but mobs are going to get at, uh, introduced to the simulation, and without using any like modifiers or power-ups or anything, the hero should just start getting ridiculously powerful. Um, might be a little bit subtle. Oh, is it? Might be happening. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit subtle because the mobs will also be turning purple, which will be giving the illusion of power. But, uh... Huh. Uh... Oh! This won't actually become noticeable until we actually start saving the mobs. Yeah. Hmm. No, this will become noticeable before then. Because, like, right now that difference is 10. That difference, because we haven't saved any mobs, but there are only mobs, 10 mobs saved that we need to save to win, which is why there are only 10 mobs in this situation. So that number is 10, but the ex number of expected mobs is, is, is still climbing, because nothing actually, like, we didn't slow that down at all. So it might just be that I need to, it might be that this is Victory Rush working, and I think it probably is, but um, maybe just Victory Rush should be more powerful. Like, the max Victory Rush should... Maybe it should be more powerful, or it should start even sooner, possibly. Because, like, it, it is going to ramp in kind of... No, it's probably fine how it starts, at, uh, with the timing at which it starts. Like, for the entire final wave, like, it will be... It'll technically start with the entire final wave. Although, it won't, like, once you're halfway through that final wave, it'll still only be half... Uh, okay, a mob has left the simulation... And now we're, like, kicking these things into space. But we've used no strength power-ups. So that's probably good. Probably. Uh, let's just make it more powerful and try again. So if Victory Rush Max was instead... Oh, wait. Victory Rush only gets recalculated when a mob leaves the simulation. That's why... Yeah, that's why it was... Uh, that's why it was taking so long to kick in the first time. Uh, so it probably is fine. So it's probably entirely fine. Probably. I'll just assume it's entirely fine. Things didn't get screwy, so that's good. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. Um, hmm. These mobs didn't have very high health, but they were getting kicked really hard. <laughs> like, they, uh... Well, I guess, I guess they had pretty high health. But like I set the max health at two. Maybe I should set the max health lower. Because like these ones at the end, like these last four especially, just like got like they're were, they're getting kicked so hard that they only rendered for like two frames while on screen, and it looked uh, I don't know I don't have motion blur in this game so all right. <laughs> That's a tough question, isn't it? Nearly delicious. It's uh, I mean, we all have to struggle with that at some point in our lives. <laughs> how's uh, how's your current life? Is it the sort of thing where you've been me been meaning to start over someplace new, or is it is it pretty okay? <laughs> um, gosh, maybe. I Maybe I should put max health at like 1.5 or something? I wonder what that would do. Mob max health, yeah, it's at 2. 1.5. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a, a brief break to screw around with, uh... Well, I mean, this is kind of, this is like one of the things that, that we're working on in terms of balance, is like getting it, to, getting it to the game to feel powerful, but not ever making it anything so powerful that the game feels broken. Because it's actually a really fine line. <laughs> Um, so, alright, yeah, so I was gonna just bump up the mo the dude guy's strength, like, through the roof. It starts out at 12, and I think if I put it, it used to be, like, if I put it to point eight, it would be, like, a one hit. <laughs> wow. That's funny. I changed how, uh, I changed how, uh, what health means for, uh, for, uh, alright, dudes aren't getting kicked, dudes are getting kicked out of the scene, but 
but they're never reaching like a disturbing velocity. So that's good. What if my, what if my health was max health was a little bit higher? What if it was like one point seven? Now they're gonna get kicked off in like creepy fast speeds, All right? So mom's health. Yeah, those ones were noticeably faster, and I think they're actually verging on uh, too fast, probably. So it's probably actually close to like one point six or something, uh, which is probably enough noodling for now. I don't want to get too distracted by it because that is that is cosmetic, uh, and it won't actually affect. It, it'll just be. It'll, it'll just be how, like how the game looks to feel, not really how the game plays or anything. Uh, so, did I leave anything screwy? No, I think everything else should have reset itself appropriately. Alright, so, cool. Uh, oh yeah, and then we did that, we did one of those things. Uh, cheat strength at end of game. Um, so if we do see, like, awkward slow game finishes, then we'll want to, um, revisit that, or if we see, like, ridiculously overpowered game finishes, then we might want to revisit that as well. Um, tone down how much m mult axis strength on dash. Yeah, w I think our current calculation is, like, flatly diminishing returns, mm -hmm. such that it's only twice as powerful. But, it, I don't know, maybe it approaches too, too fast, or it's just, I guess, hmm. Yeah, right now dash strategy just is, it's it's frankly, uh, <laughs> if I had to describe it, not using words, um, <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, dash, so, oh, I guess we can look up power strength again. Uh, it's a uh, super mod, throw bomb, etc, etc, here we go, conclude dash. So, yeah, right now... We're. I added enough variables. Now this looks weird. Yeah, okay, so 2 minus math f dot pow raising 0.5 to the, to the pow mol. So. Yeah. So, like, when you have uh, pow mol 1, then it's 0.5 to the 0 is 1, and so it has a strength of 1. When, uh, when you have pow mult 2, it takes 0.5, squares it, no, no, raises it to the power of 1, right, because there's this minus 1 here, uh, and so 2 minus 5 is 1.5, and so just jumping from 1 to 1 1.5 is like really powerful, <laughs> as it turns out. So let's just tone that down slightly. Uh, and I guess the cleanest way to do that would be to, hmm, uh, hmm, hmm, I could bring down the max from two. If we just, um, we could just never get twice as powerful. Like, hypothetically, like, if you had, like, infinite multiplicity, it would, only, it would get twice as, exactly twice as powerful. Uh, so, yeah, let's, I guess, just say, um, instead of 2, let's say, like, 1.7 F, or no, let's say, like, uh, 1 plus, uh, uh, 1 plus, uh, uh, dash stack, uh, dash, dash strength stack, or something, uh, minus that, uh, wait, one plus dash strength stack minus this whole shebang, Oop, not that whole shebang, this other whole shebang, this thing times dash strength stack, right? Oh, no. No, wait. <laughs> uh,
<laughs> math. I, um, I'm pretty good at math. Like, conceptually. I just don't like arithmetic. <laughs> um, because, like, once you get into way more interesting math, just looking back at arithmetic, it's like, pfft. I don't know. That's how I tend to feel about it. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, alright, so we don't want to go all the way as high as 2, but we also have to tone this down so that it actually doesn't doesn't effectively nerf uh, yeah, we can just multiply this by dash strength stack also but then why am I multiplying it here I'm adding it there, and then multiplying it in. Alright, so that's, I guess... Could be weirder. Uh... Yeah? That's, okay, uh, minus, uh... Or, actually, oh yeah, alright. I, I know why something is striking me as weird here. Um, I'm, I'm actually, okay, so, right, so, it's actually going to be uh, dash string stack times uh, 1 minus, again, the same thing, <laughs> maybe all of, like, my, uh, all of my perplexing math scenarios uh, have to do with adding, adding 1 uh, inside and outside of multiplication, because, again, it's like, it's like, I can picture it in my brain, but I, I, I still wanted that 2 for some reason. I wanted like essentially like the same thing as that that two just by <laughs> having one added in multiple times. Anyways, uh, yeah. So I think that's I think that's right. So now, uh, so now, yeah, uh, we can we can basically just dial like how effective we ever want it to be. So I was thinking of putting dash strength stack at like point seven, so that way it, uh, instead of, like, scaling all the way up to 2, it only scales up to, like, 1.7, and it, and it scales, like, you know, 70% as fast. Which might not be the way to go about doing this. Maybe, maybe I just wanted to go, like, slightly more linearly. So maybe, uh, maybe instead of, like, 0.5, What if it was just like point seven? Wait, what would that do? Zero minus point one well, minus point seven. Yeah, maybe that's a better way to go about it. Uh yeah, actually I want to try that one instead. <laughs> this one would have done something, but I think uh Does that really accomplish what I wanted to accomplish? Seven. Well, we can, we can, I mean, we can, we can try both, so. Uh, so that means, uh, well, I guess those are, those are pretty closely equivalent. Because this way, Yeah, no, this is fine for now. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, Alright, yeah. All right, but we still need to define this as, a, as an actual thing so that the text isn't read. Uh, dash strength stack. So let's go to uh, where other dash stuff. Yeah. Uh, no, our other dash stuff. Uh, other dash stuff. Uh, here we are. So uh, public float uh, this equals 0 0.7 ish alright uh, so that could be good um, let's uh, let's fire up the game and, and multiply dash uh, so I'm not going to wait for a power up I'm just going to cheat it to be uh, 2 multiply of 2 actually I guess I should, I should see how 1 feels before I crank it up to 2 no I can just start with 2 whatever <laughs> 
Uh, Alright, so... Should be here pretty soon. It's uh, not the next one, but the one after it. One more. One more to go. Bloop, bloop. We should get... We have, like, multiplicity... Uh, as a, uh, like, oh yeah, they're supposed to show up at a predetermined time, so, uh, that seems pretty powerful, but it could be okay. Yeah, it's probably, f it's probably better. We probably have enough control over it now that we can probably dial it in. Um, so, instead of worrying about it too much right now, I'll probably, uh, just keep out an eye for it. And, uh, keep going with, uh, take us to you! Hey, how's it going? Uh, welcome back! <laughs> uh, we are, we're balancing stuff. We're making this game, uh, making it play right. That's the goal. Um, I mean, back before we got to this point, uh, like, during feature dev on this project, I kept thinking that, like, game balance was just going to take forever. It was just going to take, like, I kept saying, like, it'd probably take an entire month just to to accomplish. Uh, I don't think I'm going to spend... Alright, good to hear. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm literally going to spend a month on this. In fact, I'm probably not going to spend more than this week on this. I might kind of want to get... Yeah. Yeah, I like... Uh, one thing I, I, I very much enjoy about balancing is that... Um, you get to spend a lot of time in the game. You get to spend a lot of time, like actually playing it, actually like seeing how it feels, uh, and it's and it's highly productive as well. It's not just uh, I'm not just slacking off here. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, let's consider that probably good. Uh, I can I'm I'm pretty good at giving feedback. I like to think, and I like to do so when I have the opportunity. What uh, what are you looking for feedback on? I assume you're addressing me. Um, I guess you might also just be addressing chat in general. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, hit me with it. I'll see. I'll see what I can uh, come up with. Um, yeah. Uh, so okay. So okay. I. I'm pretty sure we did this satisfactorily. I'm gonna put it in the done column. Uh, although we might want to revisit it. Uh, alright. Oh, it's like a download thing? Um, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna put it on my list of, uh, like, if, if there's something that I'm gonna check out, but I, I don't want to do it on stream, I have, like, a list going. So I'll, I'll add it to that list, and I'll check it out uh, when I get a chance. Uh, the reason for that is because I'm going to do it on my other computer, and... I can control my other computer from this computer, but it gets, like, it gets weird. And also, you guys wouldn't be able to see it on stream, because it would be on my other computer. So it'd just, it'd just be, like, looking at a screen while I, while I have fun on another computer. But, uh, yeah, I know, I know where to find you, so I'll, I'll, uh, I will check that out, and, uh, and, uh, and, and let you know. Is there, if there, is there any specific thing that you, oh, the physics, okay. So, yeah, I will, I will, I'll take, I will take a look. Uh, I'm probably gonna stream for a while today, but um, usually like when I'm done streaming, like I, all I want is like food and games. Like I, <laughs> my routine is like as soon as as soon as I stop streaming, I, uh, I I just immediately acquire food, and then I just sit or I, I come back exactly right back to where I was, except uh, I put on someone else's stream in the background, and I just consume food and I play. Lately, it's been a lot of Hearthstone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just games all day. Uh, and I have, and now I have a, a, a bike physics game to, to check out. So, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, let's see how the game feels. I don't. Uh, oh well, I guess like time bonus is is another thing that I'll have to tackle. It's an, it's uh, time bonus that the, is is one thing that I know is out of whack. I just don't 
I don't have my finger exactly on how to unwhack it, I guess. <laughs> um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll figure that out. Uh, and then, uh, let's, yeah, let's see what else, uh, how else the game feels. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, strength on bombs, sure. I'll put one on bombs, one on... Oh, I should, yeah, I should be test. I should, I should be testing out dash strategy. So, all right, so, yeah, speed and range on dash. Because we still have to make sure that that is not overpowered. It, it's entirely possible that dash is still ridiculously overpowered. Which would be not my faves. Oh, um, my favorite class in Hearthstone right now is, uh, uh, that's a good question. I, there, I definitely have, like, a few classes that I play a lot, and then a few classes that I don't play as much. So I guess, like, top three easily would be uh, Shaman, Warlock, and Druid. Fun fact, I don't actually, like, like-like Shaman, uh, so hopefully that's not your favorite class. If it is, I, I, I mean, I play it a lot. I really want it to work. The thing that, that bites me about it, the reason I say, like, I, I play it a lot, but I don't, especially... I, so the, my one qualm, I guess, with Shaman is just the sheer volume of, of of random numbers in Shaman. I feel like they... I feel like they... Maybe they just wanted one class that plays really wild. And, like, I guess, like, if you're going to make one class play really wild, Shaman does make sense, because, like, they've always been a little bit... A little bit, like, that. Like that in, in, um, in like, the, the universe. Um... Uh, I think Dash is probably still overpowered. <laughs> probably. Um, but some of that I can fix here. Uh, I just, uh... Da dash Strength Stack. Maybe it's, like, closer to, like, 0. 0.5, maybe. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Uh, oh, yeah, I should make a note of that. Because things I change during play mode don't get saved. So I have to... I have to remember to do it later. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> I have one other note for myself, and it has, uh, it's about the, um, I don't, I don't play music on my stream, because I don't, I never bothered to, like, seek out licensing, et cetera, et cetera, uh, but the, I, I, like, the name of my stream today, uh, it was just very accurate, and so, for anyone who's, uh, who feels misled by the name of the stream, I, I, I did, anyways, uh, wait, hold on, so, uh, so I did, um, what did I do? S dash, dash tank stack. Uh, stack equals, uh, 0 0.5, maybe? Ish? Okay. Just, uh, so remember to do that when I get it up my mode. I don't know why that's off camera. I guess I can t tend to keep it off camera, but whatever. It's just a notepad with a et cetera, et cetera. Um. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, no, I know that feeling. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks awesome. Uh, everyone check out... Well, I guess I'll just put it up on screen. Uh, this is the... Yeah, this is, I guess, the, the project that um, Tagesh2 uh, linked to earlier, which my, my initial impression is you got the visuals to a really cool place. Like, I don't know. I... Like, uh, I mean... I know I don't set the bar for visuals very high, but I, d I definitely appreciate it when other developers, like, get, like, a good look, and, like, that just immediately, like, it are, it just, like, screams, like, futuristic, like, race bike, so, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I like that, but, um, yeah, alright, I, I look forward to checking that out, um, <laughs> uh, cool, thank you, uh, thank you for sharing that, by the way, uh, yeah, like, I mean, um, so, like, one of the things I, I really like about streaming is just, like, you know, it's just, like, a slightly more interesting version of what I'd be doing anyways, but then, um, I mean, part of the reason it's it's just more a lot more interesting is because I, d I actually don't meet that many devs, like, in my, in my day, in, in just, in like, my regular routine. Like, I go to industry events, and, like, you know, in an evening, like, maybe I'll meet, like, several new people, um, but, like, with so many people, like, at, like, a an event that lasts for, like, two hours, like, you don't really have time to, like, I don't know, it, it's, it, it always feels, like, rushed, like, I, I always leave those things feeling, like, you know, there's just so much that, that I did not accomplish there, like, that, you know, I, I just, I just end up, like, just waiting for next month's meeting, and I, I go to, like, enough of those that, like, 
uh, I'm going to at least like one a week, but even still, it just doesn't. It's nice to have like it's nice to put like lots of of time during the day to uh, to something wherein a lot of other devs participate. So uh, yeah, I really like game streaming for that. I um I haven't been using my power ups. I, uh, I've been I've been shirking that aspect. So yeah, let's let's get better about that. Uh, ooh, power three. This will be fun. <laughs> oh, that wasn't that fun. Did I? Uh, oh, the timing thing. I probably haven't done that yet, have I? Or did I? I forget. Did Path 3 just misfire? Did it just not work? Either way, I'll have to, I'll have to look into that. Uh, maybe I just broke Path 3 and never checked to see that I didn't break it. That is that is a distinct possibility. I might have broken Path 3. Because I definitely changed it the other day. And uh, I don't remember if I retested it again. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm... I'm I can barely even keep up with the game. I, I'm definitely not caught up on chat, but I'm going to look at it in just a moment. Okay, no, Path 3 isn't 100% broken. But, uh... Um... Alright, so... Wow, yeah, I think Dash is still overpowered. I should probably... I, oh, yeah, one thing I was going to do with Dash is to bring in the range, because, like, I did not boost up the range on Dash that much, and it got really big really fast, so... I'll probably want to uh, change how that works. Oh no. Uh, strength on hero, I guess. Fast forward on uh, dash, I guess. That was it. Oh, cool. We're right at the end of the game. All right, so everything should be getting super powerful now. All right, so if that, huh? That didn't even feel that overpowered. <laughs> uh, but yeah, everything should be. We, we or actually no, I guess yeah. We're 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 now starting to get victory rush. So, as we clear out this group of mobs, uh, we should start to actually like feel it. Oh, actually, some of the lack of mob presence right now might just be due to those explosions I let go off. That is not my finest moment. Uh. Huh. I kind of want to change how super works, but I don't necessarily have a better idea. Oh yeah, here we go. That's got to be some, uh, some, huh. This got to be some victory rush, I feel like, possibly. How else would, maybe the mobs were actually just that purple, but like bombs are like killing it, right? Look how flying things go when I use bombs. Super flying. That's how they go. Alright, well, yeah, that was Victory Rush for sure. Cool. Hey, we played the game start to finish. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I, um, I, uh, yeah, in order, I, sometimes when I'm playing through AL, I will forget to actually use modifiers, and then I'm not getting a very good sense of, like, actually how the game is balanced, because I'm letting myself get supremely underpowered. I mean, it, it might be slightly indicative of how 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 demanding the modifier system is uh for for gameplay um because like it's a, so i want to give the players uh modifiers fast enough that they feel like they're getting more powerful and that they are getting more powerful so that you know that that they you know there's actually that sense of like gain um i don't want to dump them if I dump them too fast, then it, it actually just gets really annoying because you have to spend a ton of time like fiddling with, with little uh, whatever is at the top of the screen. Ooh. Oh, did I win with Path Three active? Is he? He's, he looks orange. Is he orange? Yeah, Path Three definitely did not reset at the end of the game, so that's fun. All right, hold on. Uh. Uh. uh <laughs> End game. Uh, uh, <laughs> that um, that that suggestion. So hold on, I'll catch up on chat now. But that suggestion, the make a game where the player becomes less and less powerful. For some reason, that just reminded me. Or my my first reaction is that was a uh, passage. If, I don't know if you guys have played Passage. It came out a while ago. Um, I think it was by Roar. Was the name of the. Uh, the developer, uh, Roar, Roar, Jason Roar, maybe, 
Hold on, let me double check. Uh, video game. Passage. Yeah, Jason Rohr. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, that's, that's sort of like an interpretation of that theme, so, I, I wonder if anyone actually has, uh, has gone that way. Like, you, maybe, like, for the first, like, maybe, like, a game where, like, it plays out over the life of a, of a warrior or something, and so, like, the, for the first, like, for the first, like, 20 years of his life, he gets more powerful, and then for the next, like, 80 years of his life, he gets <laughs> slowly less and less powerful with age. Um. <laughs> um, yeah, I um, I, I, f I think I'm really lucky that to live in um, the Boston area, because, like, uh, at least in, as far as places that I've, like, investigated, like, the game dev scene in Boston, I think, is just really good. Like, I've looked at other places, because, like, you know, I've thought about where else could I live? It's a big world, right? There's tons of stuff out there. Uh, I think about that sort of thing. And, uh, the, yeah, one of the things that, like, literally, like, would be difficult to leave, uh, for, or something that would make it really difficult to leave is just how, how good it is here. There's, like, really cool, like, like, every week there's probably at least, like, three or four just meetings dedicated to, like, various, like, game dev whatevers. And, like, I'm not, like, I'm not gregarious or anything. Like, I don't, I don't, like, like, I, so I socialize because I, uh, make myself <laughs> socialize, not because I would do it naturally. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, yeah. How about, I, I wonder if, I imagine there has to be, like, some game that actually does, like, real injury system. So, like, when you get chopped with a, an axe in the leg, like, your movement speed actually goes down. Like, that makes sense, right? Or, like, I don't know. You get, I don't know. Yeah. It, it's only, it's always just, like, a little health bar, right? It's always just, like, a little health health meter or some other, like, uh, just gradient of, like, health. Uh, oh, what game, what game does that differently? Oh, no, it wasn't a video game. My friend was telling me about a, uh, a cool tabletop RPG that uses, like, like, one of the, one of the neatest, like, features about it was that, um, it uses a, uh, just a really sophisticated, like, health system, so that it's not just, like, a, a linear bar, and, like, basically what you try and do is, like, not die by, <laughs> by playing this game, uh, uh, I think it. Hold on, I think I can find it really quick. I was just gonna look up the name. Torchbearer, maybe. I think it's called Torchbearer. I won't spend a bunch of time looking it up, but I, I think it was called Torchbearer. Uh. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah. I, I I know how to end path three, at the end of the game. That shouldn't be too, too difficult. Uh, cause yeah, I guess if you if you stack a bunch of multiplicity on path three, path three could actually last a really long time. Um, so one thing I liked about that that playthrough was that um, I think path three showed up at a good time. Like I think it showed up about halfway through the game. So I think part of the reason we got that pacing of the game is because Dash was still overpowered, or probably is still overpowered. But um, oh yeah, so okay, so it's gonna scale down the range. Uh, down dash radius. I just wanted to put these things on paper so that I don't forget all of them, because I tend to once I start on one thing, the others all leave my mind. Uh, so yeah, um, assuming dash was overpowered, I might just want to quicken the pace of the game because because other than that, that I thought that was really good. Uh, so yesterday, no, not yesterday. Tuesday, I was seeing weird things with uh, with mob movement speed. There's this awkward thing where mobs start out slower than the hero, but I increase their movement speed over the course of the game. And so, like, there's an awkward phase where where mobs and the hero move at a very similar speed, and then um, if you have very few mobs on screen, 
that leads for like really uh unimpressive uh chase sequences where like the mob just like slowly moves away just gradually escapes from the hero or or the hero slowly gradually closes in the gap um uh all right thanks for stopping in um uh i was gonna s oh yeah so i like how uh, i like how increasing the pace of mobs uh changes the pace of the game but i don't know exactly how to avoid that awkward phase i guess i could just like i could do like so for hmm. yeah it either has to be like a really jarring break uh between uh mobs being slower than the hero and mobs being faster than the hero like they, they just they just have to take a wild jump to like become dramatic from dramatically slower to dramatically faster or i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to handle that i mean i could do it that way it could just be that so maybe so try uh try one big speed mob speed jump instead of uh instead of several incremental ones uh and that would probably be at phase this transition from phase two to phase three but then what do the phases mean like why are there four phases if if only if nothing happens on two of the phase changes i mean like i put them in there mostly just to keep track of time but it would be nice if there was something there so huh yeah, I mean, the, the other th nice thing about mob movement speed is that um, it's it's noticeable. Like, it, you don't have to... Like, it's it's relatively subtle, but it's, it's not so subtle. Like, if I change the detonation timers, like, that would start to feel more intense, but it would, uh, it'd be a more... Like, the... It wouldn't, like... It wouldn't be immediately... It wouldn't immediately register, and it would be, so it would be a lot harder to to kind of like associate that with the the phase changes so maybe it's okay that phases are not like radically like earth shattering or anything but uh i don't know it'd be kind of nice maybe maybe also like the thing about um the victory rush like maybe with that i don't have to worry as much about mob speed being a factor um, the other thing I could do would be to, uh, hmm. Hmm. No, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I, I, yeah, no, I could just, uh, I could just scale up speed across the board. Currently, if you use a, if you use a speed modifier on your hero... I mean, typically what speed means in that context is not movement speed, but um, attack speed. Although it does actually give a boost to movement speed, because, I don't know, I thought that would make enough sense. I was like, sure, yeah, let's do that. Uh, and then, um, so maybe I could, I, instead of doing that, I could just I could just make everything move faster, which would kind of have the same effect. All right, yeah, so actually, yeah, so instead of uh, one big speed jump, uh, Let's try, like, global speed jump uh, on phase change. Uh, and, uh, all right, so what else did we get out of that playthrough? Um, the, the, the rate of modifiers seemed okay. I got distracted and let the modifiers build up a little bit, but other than that, like, it felt like they were coming in at an okay pace. Um, I might want to make it so that they... they keep a steady pay uh it's gonna say like more modifiers in the end game and then just like implement diminishing returns but i don't know if we really need to do that i don't want to put diminishing returns in places that i don't need to put diminishing returns because like if well no i probably oh well no one thing i still probably need to put in is is some form of diminishing returns like i'm really red i should really just like if i can get away without it D diminishing returns are like a form of lying I feel like it's like you give the player something and then it just doesn't have the the effect that they might have hoped it to have like that it's not my favorite uh, <laughs> so let's uh, 
Let's see if we can avoid that. Um, and uh, although the one the one time that I'm thinking we probably won't avoid that is uh, is is stacking is like stacking everything onto one power. Maybe that is okay. I mean, the other way to think about the other way to think about diminishing returns is like the opposite. Instead of like weakening something, like instead of weakening multiple power ups all stacked on the same one, like uh, modifiers could could apply a more powerful bonus based on how many modifiers are on your other options. So, like if you use a bunch of modifiers on on dash, for example, then maybe the next modifier that you put on something other than dash, you get a bonus to it. I mean, it's kind of like two sides of the same coin, but I'm wondering if there's one implementation that, that wouldn't feel better. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the simulation because I think one of the things I have on my list is that, uh, yeah, dash strength stack is probably going down at least to, like, 0.5. Uh, yeah. But at 0.5, I think it, I said it was probably still too powerful. Ah, but I don't want to, like, nerf it into the ground, so. The, uh, I almost named the stream today, uh, Nerf Everything. Because on Tuesday it was, everything is OP. Uh... But I really don't want I like I, I I really don't want the end result of this balance pass to be like that everything just feels a lot less fun than it did during development. So uh, yeah, so that that is decisively not what we're going to be doing. Uh, I read that um, uh, power three not reset end game right yeah so we have to fix that scale down dash radius that's simple enough dash radius scale so it's at point three and that's a lot so let's say point like 1.5 or point one five I mean point one five that might be too dramatic yeah we might need to we might, we might need to infuse a little more power back into it um, but w I mean we, we can see like we uh instead of having superfluous power in like a just a gratuitous way we can we can put power where uh it wherever it makes dash most fun to use like maybe if it is less powerful we can drop the cooldown a bit because um right now it takes a lot longer to recharge like you you don't dash very often until you start stacking speed on it so um all right so uh yeah we have to fix the yeah, global speed jump on phase change. Um, I guess we don't have to get rid of the speed boosts on um, when you use it when you use a speed modifier on the hero. Because like, I don't know. I still like the idea that using speed modifiers on the hero makes just the hero just more more just faster in general. So I think I think both speed and range modifiers on the hero make the hero move faster. Um, but yeah, let's do power three first because that one is m more significantly screwy. Uh, so right, so I guess we don't have to. Uh, we don't really have to. reset it automatically right when the game ends. We can just let it run its natural duration, and then, um, and then we, we, the only time we really have to reset it is when, is when the game starts again. Uh, uh, huh. Although, yeah, I'll have to, no, it's, it's, right, no, so super mod is, is handle, doesn't actually affect, like, power strength value, so, uh, power strength and power range value, so, yeah, this should, this should be fairly easy to manage. All right, so um, I guess first thing, I think like I think I said it so that 
Pow literally only ticks down during um, during uh, yeah during during the game. Like it literally just stops ticking down at the end of the game. So let's change that so that it still ticks down even after the game. Because we still simulate some things after the game. Although we could actually probably simulate a lot less now that we've changed how the game ends. Uh, yeah, we could change a, we could change a lot, but it's not really hurting anything because like we're not exactly spending, we're not exactly like breaking the bank or break like stressing the the processor at that time. Um, hmm. Yeah, and we, if we if you have a bunch of allies, I guess we still want the allies to not do weird things. So, all right, yeah, we'll just, we'll keep that, I guess, for now. Um, so, all right, yeah, all right, so I think it, it won't get stuck anymore. Um, so, like, if the game ends whilst PAL 3 is, is still happening, uh, it, it will run out just naturally over time, uh, but let's also make sure that, um, uh, let's also make sure that at, that when we restart the game, if it hasn't finished yet, that it does it at that time. So, so yeah, in, um, oh, uh, I think restart happens at GUI time. Uh, I um I made another project yesterday, the secret project, uh, that I did for a friend, um, and I did I used you I used uh, uh, input, get etc cetera, etc, cetera, the 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 correct way, and it was so easy. It was so easy. Like this weird way that I'm doing it is, I'm never, I'm just probably never doing that again because, not easy is how I would describe this, and. Uh, yeah, oh man, it was like, it was really cool. I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's definitely on GUI time. Uh, so, I don't know, this could be fine. Uh, and actually we don't, we don't need to check super time. If super mod not equals zero at the time that we start, then we, then we, we manually, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, although I guess we don't actually have to do it for the the friend dudes because they all got destroyed already. So I guess I could actually just like get rid of that chunk because there are no allies at the start of the game. When the game restarts, you the hero stands alone once more, once again. So uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, wait. So yeah, when this happens, we should set we should set super time. Uh, to zero. Just so that... Uh, I don't know. Just for tidiness, I guess. <laughs> uh, I like this better here. specific reason. I just like it better there. Alright, um, so, yeah. Alright, uh, I guess it's usually less than zero, but whatever. Uh, zero should be fine, I assume. Alright, uh, yeah, and that was a funny, but I think fairly straightforward change, so, oh, wait, is there anything weird? No, we're setting it to zero, which I guess is actually fairly advantageous that this uh, that this only looks for less than zero. So by slamming it to zero, we don't actually have to really worry about this accidentally activating twice. Oh. Although it would be awkward if it did. I mean, it, super one. Super one not equals zero. Uh... 
So actually, maybe I should leave this at the top. No, I don't think that would necessarily help. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I... Actually, there is a fairly simple, fairly straightforward way to, to manage this. It's just, uh... Right, so... Uh, let's just add in... <laughs> A, uh, a bool uh, restart gain equals false um, and then restart gain yeah uh, oh I was still looking at references uh, so here instead of that we'll say uh, restart game uh, equals true. Save. Uh, oops, too many semicolons. Um, all right. So instead of yeah, instead of uh, literally restarting the game on GUI time, we're just going to queue the game to restart on GUI time, and then on uh, in the same times uh, uh, time scale that we we do the rest of the stuff, we're going to uh, we're going to also if post more equals zero. Wait, if post more equals one. Oh, so how about uh Yeah, I guess we could okay, yeah, no that one's more sensible. Else if post more equals zero. Right, that's that giant block. So yeah, I'm just gonna put an else if uh post more equals two and uh, restart game. Uh, uh, restart game. Oh no, not that one. Uh, yeah, there's some people in chat. Well, there were some people chatting a moment ago. Uh, I, uh, it's not super, super, super active, but. Um, I think there are some people. Some people are paying attention. I assume. <laughs> I wouldn't make a difference. I'd still be here babbling away, regardless if people are actually paying attention. Uh, and that is a true story. <laughs> That's completely true. I mean, it's one of those like tree falling in the forest sort of things. But I assure you. Um, oh, uh, the first thing. Yeah. Uh, hello, light up man. Uh, the first thing I saw you say was any viewers active oh thank you <laughs> cool all right so it is going out there to someone I, uh, i'm glad it just makes it i mean i would be doing this anyways but it's just a it's a more rewarding feeling a more uh more fulfilling feeling when uh when there are actually people there so cool thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in by the way um uh we uh, so right so we we didn't want to get like a weird race condition between how how we were manipulating the hero um i mean i guess i guess another way to do this would have just been to like hard set scale instead of instead of like instead of changing the scale like by plus equals minus equals um <laughs> thank you yeah one of the things that um that i think uh one of the things that I like are uh, are like passive education, so so like I um I like check out anything that I think will I'll find entertaining and that w might also make me smarter. Like I like those things, but like I don't know. I guess I just liked it enough that when I realized that I actually had the opportunity to to do one of those things, I was like, yeah, let's do it. So so here here I am. Here we are. <laughs> um, So right, yeah. Here we this uh, this uh, well synchronized um, opportunity to restart the game is uh, convenient enough. Uh, so we'll restart the game, and then then all will be good in the world. Uh, yeah, we don't we don't really have to worry about uh, conflicts. Um, the reason I, 
the reason I wanted to just shore that up, like, I don't think it would have been especially likely for it to happen. I think it could have happened. And the reason I wanted to shore it up is because if, uh, if you applied the, uh, the effect at the end of, of POW 3 twice, you'd end up with, like, a much smaller hero. Like, it would, it would shrink him down again, which uh, is just weird enough that I, I didn't really want it want that to be the case, so uh, we are now avoiding that. Uh, and yeah, another way to avoid that would have been to just hard set the scale instead of uh, adjusting the scale how I am adjusting the scale, but um, I don't know, it, even if it wouldn't have been harmful, it still would have been redundant, so uh, I like this approach. Uh, and now, yeah, I think we're... I think we fixed that one. Global, yeah, global speed jump on phase change. All right, so currently the the mobs get faster, but you get into these awkward chase scenarios between the, the mobs and the hero because the hero does not get faster. Uh, and I don't have any particular reason not to make the hero faster, so let's make the hero faster. Uh, all right, all right, so currently mobs are getting, mob speed are getting increased by phase speed increase. So I guess um, I guess we should we could just do this for for all mobs because we'll want the allies to get the increase so as well so they can keep up with the hero um, and the mobs. So okay, so uh, so for um, int i equals uh, zero i less than mob speed uh, dot length. Uh, I plus plus uh, mob speed I plus equals uh, phase speed increase. Are we already inside an I loop? We are inside it. No, what's the problem here? I already, we are inside. Oh yeah, we are inside an I loop. That nah, okay. Uh, so let's say uh, S I. Uh, yeah. All right, and so yep, let's do this for all of the phases. And uh, the other thing I noticed before with the phase speed increase is that it was very subtle. So we might actually, assuming this works out okay, we might want to uh, we want to bump that up a little bit too, so that it's more noticeable. Actually, I'm gonna do that right up front because uh, I'm confident enough that I will want that to be the case. Uh, so right now it's it's only going by 0.5 so let's put that up to like 0.8 so that way by the end of the game whoops, uh, by the end of the game mobs will be the green mobs will be moving almost twice as fast no more than twice as fast as at the at the start of the game and the hero will not 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 be more than twice as fast at the start of the game but it will keep they'll keep uh keep pace. Uh, and I guess that was all that we kind of, that all, all that really came out of the, the previous playthrough. So, um, uh, I don't know, because it's the title of the broadcast and then the link this again, in case anyone missed it the first time around. Uh, I'm, I'm actually not listening to this anymore, but um, for like a half hour before the stream started, I was literally just... <laughs> Just listen to that. So that's my current mood for the day. Um, all right, so uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's play. Let's, uh, let's see how it goes. So I'm probably gonna try a dash strategy again. Just cause, well, I did a lot to dash, so I don't know. Right now, dash might be too powerful. It might not be powerful enough. We will we'll find out soon. So speed boost for bombs? Yeah, speed's good on bombs. Although I'm going to try dash strategy again, so we'll save it for dash. All right, so we got range, we got strength. Uh, I'll put strength on bombs, I guess. That should be good. All right, so yeah, cool, two speeds on dash. That'll be good. Two speeds and a range. Although, I want, yeah, let's try dash range before. OK. Dash still has range, even uh, even with that range boost. So here I'll put the speed boost on it, so you can see how that goes. Um, I'm waiting to put the before I put the range boost on. I want to get a feel for the current range of dash because we 
we cut it in half. Not um, excuse me, we didn't cut down, we didn't cut in half the 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 range, uh, like the distance you dash. We cut down how many mobs got get caught up in dash. Like it's a, it's a it's just a much smaller amount now. So, um, I'll multiply it, and then and then we can start cranking the range back up again. Um, it just uh, it was getting it was getting bigger around before it was getting farther. So it just ended up like feeling weird. And so then the fact that it was having too great of an effect on the game, yeah, all those things and more made me think, I want to change Dash. And so we did. Good story. <laughs> uh, 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 I guess I could... Alright, yeah, I guess the range is feeling pretty okay uh, at present, so let's, uh, let's try boosting it. Uh, hmm. Oh. Huh. I was just thinking about like how to how to make a I don't yeah, so I want to make sure that that like there's not just one strategy in this game that like you can actually like have different approaches to the game. And uh just thinking about like how to accomplish that uh given that, like, currently, like, there's, like, kind of a, uh, there's an extent to which, like, mo adding modifiers to a, an ability that already has modifiers on it is, like, some, oftentimes just mathematically more effective than, um, than adding the same modifier to another power which has not yet been modified, so how to get it how to get yeah how so how to uh, how does how to support like multiple play styles or multiple strategies without um, without uh, without nerfing like I I mean like nerfing is the easy answer but um, or like overtly nerfing or like I mean like yeah like I guess the difference for me between like nerfing and balancing is that like it's nerfed if if you don't like the end result, and it's balanced if you do. Um, oh, wow, I've been using my power-ups, uh, which I should. Uh, how about... Yeah, stuff's feeling good, so I'll put a range on bombs, I guess. I could probably put the range on uh, dash, like the, radi the radius back up a little bit. I think it... I might have, like, I might have toned it down too far, because we put, we put, like, what, like, two modifiers on it, and two range modifiers on it, and it's still feeling a little narrow, so, yeah. Uh, I think we brought it down from point 0.3 to point 0.15, so probably closer to, like, point 0.2 would be good. Um, so, it's a, I hope it's just my imagination, but for some reason, like, the last two times I've activated Path 3, I feel like it didn't actually activate. There might be a bug there. Uh, so what speed on dash, I guess? Uh, multiplicity on hero, maybe? Sure, why not? Uh, all right, here we go. Path three. All right, well, you definitely worked that time. Yes, that was path three. That's how path three works. Huh. Maybe I should just space out mobs a little more. They get a little, like, clumpy in the middle. Like, sometimes they'll just, like, all cluster in and it's just, like, meh. Actually, yeah, that'd probably be good. Because there are fewer now, so... Oof. Oh, I have this magic number, like, at the heart of the game. And, uh, my first thought was, like, oh, I could just increase that magic number. But it, that's actually, like, kind of a daunting thought, because... I've never changed that number before. And it, there's a lot there, that like that number is relevant in a lot of places. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work. I mean, it's definitely something we can try, but I might have to uh, in order to accomplish the effect that I'm going for. I might have to come up with a uh, a different approach. It might not be the final solution. I guess is what I'm saying. 
All right, so one thing that I like about Path 3, like I was kind of on the fence about Path 3 a little bit in some ways, but um, one thing that I very much like about it is that um, it is really the only way to like fully clear the board. At least, uh, at least with the current strategy. Multiplicity on bombs might be an effective way to clear the board also. Yeah, this is the victory rush. You are so done. You are so done. Boom. Game over, man. Wait, what? I right, one more. Yeah, did it. Done it. Did. Uh. <laughs> um. Sorry, I, uh, I, in the playthrough, like, if I look at chat during the playthrough, I get really distracted and I forget to use my modifiers and then I get a really bad sense of balance. Um, so I, I, I missed the, uh, the statements as they were said, but, um, was it, uh, alright, alright, so yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, so for the balance stuff, yeah, let's, uh, so, well, actually, hold on, I'm gonna try restarting the game just to make sure that works. Oh, I should have done the, uh, Oh, here, I'm gonna mob save to win, I'm gonna jack it down to 10, so the game will end really fast, and then uh, I'm also gonna, oh, but I don't have path, I don't have path 3 yet. Oh, look, I'll, I'll try and remember that in the future. I, I assume that the way that I changed path 3 to end at the end of the game probably works. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, so, uh, so what did we get out of that? Uh, yeah, well, f so, uh, dash radius up a touch probably um the uh yeah no the pace of the game felt okay like it um i think it lulled a little bit towards the middle but then definitely picked up at the end um so i might want to no i have ways that i can change that um so yeah uh uh slight Actually, at this point, it's hard to tell if I'm if when I get a slight lull, if it's actually because there's a lull, or it's just if it's just because I've been playing this game too much that, like I, I'm undaunted by whatever what like what is the challenge curve, presently. But I feel like there might have been a slight lull, uh, in mid game. I think during like phase two, like right around, or maybe just I'll say early mid game. Um, really mid game, <laughs> kind of. Uh, early mid game. Uh, so what else? Um, I should do a playthrough where I put literally all of the power ups on like one thing. Like what happens if I put literally all the modifiers on bombs? How does that game play? Or how does that play out? Oh yeah, one thing that I just need to know I need to do, which I don't think I think I like know it so well that I didn't even uh Put on this list. Uh, oh well, I kind of had make points a lie on this list, but uh, I think a, a, well, th yeah, that that just wasn't even accurate. Um, I think a better way to describe it is to redo uh, time bonus because right now it's like I didn't I didn't bother to make it um, sensible or or like I I literally I just like oh how about you get more points at the start, like, m the more points, the faster you finish, and then, like, there's, like, a crazy curve to it, but I, it was just, like, an arbitrary, like, curve number that I came up with, like, I just, like, I, like, tried, like, several different numbers, like, first I tried three, and I was, like, no, three is too, too small for this curve, like, uh, for how this curve goes, and so I was just, like, uh, I think I ended up, like, with 3,000 as, like, the, the, the number that I'm using presently, so, uh, the time bonus is going to be really important as far as like uh like how the game measures success so it's 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 basically like the deciding factor in success i should be paying more attention to the scores that i get too so yeah i should do that uh so yeah for further playthroughs let's um i guess i guess i could just try like each of the powers like try so i'm gonna okay this will be the playthrough where i stack everything on bombs although before i do that i can probably at least attend to, yeah, dash radius up a touch. All right, so I think uh, it had been at point three, and then I put it to 1.5, so let's try, like, point two, two, point two one, point two one maybe. 
Uh, Alright, bombs. Bombs away. Let's see how it goes. And yeah, and, and then I'll start keeping track of my score as well. Because I think that, I think, like, I'd been kind of ignoring score because, like, everything was changing, like, so radically that, like, score just felt really, like, it was, like, a kind of, like, whose line is the anyway type scoring, like, the points are made up, or what is it? It's, like, I, don't, it, I, don't, I forget exactly what the line is, but it's basically, like, points are made up and don't actually matter, and, yeah, that was, that was definitely the feeling that I was getting from it, so let's see if this isn't better. Uh, or, um, right, so now, uh, so now that the points are actually starting to get realistic, let's see if, uh, if it was, let's see, let's see what the, those numbers are actually giving us. Um, the gist is that, uh, on a, on a, on a successful run through the, the time bonus should be the vast majority of your, um, of your overall score. So let's see if we're getting anywhere close to that. Well, it's a lot easier to, uh, to survey the, uh, the game field when, uh, you don't have to worry about making choices uh, about where your modifiers go. <laughs> I can I can literally drop all my modifiers on bombs because if you if you drop a power in an invalid space, it just puts it in a valid space instead. It's just like oh, I'm I'm pretty sure you meant this instead. And uh, yeah, I mean there's only one more non modifier power up, but uh, whenever it shows up. Uh, oh, on phase two. I um I really should take out that notify or the uh, the the print statement when uh, when phase two is hit because I don't actually pay attention to phases in the game. Do, I don't I never pay attention to the phase marker in the game. It's I only ever really pay attention to it when uh when uh once I see that like uh, print statement out of the corner of my eye. uh <laughs> oh yeah wow, I've been using this. I think because I got distracted by the, uh, by the phase, uh, rather the, the, those, uh, prints. I mean, they were useful. And I actually used, I, I did even reference them again today, so. They've, they've served their, their purpose. So, st yeah. <sighs> Maybe I just need to make the game harder. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I know, I remember the thing that I was going to do, but I'm going to keep forgetting, unless I actually write it down. Uh, Alright, so that we did, but, um, that we'll, we'll look at, but yeah, mob radius, or diameter, increase, question mark, exclamation point, I could, <laughs> I expect explosions with that one, I expect things to go weird, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> only one way to find out. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, like I was thinking, um, stacking all your modifiers on one power is, is just OP. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to come up with some way to dial that around. Um, and I, yeah, I want to take more of an, an incentive sort of approach than, uh, than like a penalty sort of approach, so, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I'll... I guess, I don't know, maybe it's not, like, going to be something overt, so maybe it'll just be, yeah, I'll probably just keep it, keep it subtle, keep it under the hood, but, um, oh yeah, there's the jitter, now that the mobs are getting pretty fast, they're, uh, we're definitely seeing some of the jitter that, uh, I'd noticed before, and, uh, uh, increasing the mob radius might actually have some beneficial effect on that, but, um, I don't know, I guess we'll see. Yeah! I swear, POW 3 doesn't do anything the first time. I'll have to look into that. Because I swear it's true. I might be wrong. I might I might just be missing it. It might just be that it's so intense, I'm having difficulty keeping track of the game state. But, uh... I don't know, I feel like... I feel like it's, it's true. Oh, yeah, so another thing is that um, because bombs are, like, really powerful and we're making, and so we're progressing through the game faster than usual, um, yeah, we're definitely also, uh, like, the rate of explosive devices, yeah, that, 
I think currently it just in, it just increases over time, but I should probably like tie that directly to. Oops, I wasn't paying attention to. I'm in Turkey today. How's it going? Oh, cool! You're hosting. Thank you. <laughs> I, I sorry, I was really into uh, I was really into that playthrough, but um, uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for stopping in and thank you for hosting. Um, we're uh. We're balancing this thing. We're getting this. Uh, we're gonna whip this game into into ship shape. Uh, it's it's mostly done. Like it's it's all very subtle tweaks that we're doing at this point. But um, yeah, I think they're pretty important ones though. So we'll uh, yeah. I yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, oh no. Oh no. It's usually my video that goes. Um, gosh. That's tough. Uh, huh. I, um, hmm. If it gets really bad, um, there's one thing that I can try. Although it, um, it might disconnect the stream. <laughs> so I don't want to try it until I have to. Uh, but. Oh, I'm so, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. I well, I'm apologizing vocally. I don't, maybe you can't even hear the apology, but um, yeah, I'm hoping that so, like sometimes that'll happen. Sometimes like uh, people have observed that like sometimes it'll just get choppy for a little while and that it'll resolve itself. Uh, I'll uh, fingers crossed. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Um, so from what I saw of the the time bonus, I'm thinking I actually have to jack up the time bonus significantly. Uh, so, like I mentioned before, I think it's at, um, yeah, we're getting there. I, I think, I, so I'm, I'm saying that I kind of want to wrap the project this week. I mean, uh, yeah, I think that's actually doable. I think, I think, uh, I mean, I'm probably going to be, I didn't stream yesterday. I worked on another project for a friend, which was top secret. Uh, so I, um, I think I'm going to stream on Saturday too. So between today, tomorrow and Saturday, that might be. That would be the home stretch. I, um, just, like, all throughout development, the game was, like, so terribly broken and imbalanced that I keep getting these pangs. Like, whenever I see the game, like, quasi-balanced now, like, if it's, like, if it's even, like, vaguely playable, like, in a, in a, you know, in a reasonable manner, I keep having these pangs of, like, it's good, it's done, ship it. But, um, no, I know, I know it still has a, a good way to go. But, um... <laughs> I always wonder what my ISP thinks of me. Like, um, sometimes, like, Twitch won't load, and I'm like, are they, are they just, like, choking it out? Are they just, <laughs> do they just not like that? <laughs> um, <laughs> but they haven't, they haven't cut me off yet, so, I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll hear from them at some point. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, right, so... So yeah, first thing first, time bonus scale, oh, 800, yeah, I think it started out at 3, and now it's up at 800, but I want a dramatic increase, so I'm going to put it up to, like, 2,000, oops, ah, uh, ooh, so... I apologize in advance, because I'm probably going to mispronounce your name. No, I'm definitely going to mispr mispronounce your name, because I'm going to take two shots at it. I'm thinking either Juoxix or Waxix. I'm, maybe both of those are incorrect. Either way, welcome to the uh, stream. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we're making... this is So this game is a... It's kind of like a... Oh yeah, I've been describing it as a... Oh, I forget who it was. Someone, uh, someone in chat suggested that I call it uh, Soba, a single-player offline battle arena, because um, it's like, it's a, uh, it kind of follows in the tradition of games like, um, of like, of like MOBAs and tower defense games that kind of like, you know, they 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 harken back to um, like mods of like uh, of what were originally like real-time strategy games. Uh, in this one in particular. You, uh, uh, I, so <laughs> you might notice there's a, um, oh, who's, who's X? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> pardon. Um, 
but yeah, so uh, so in this game, um, yeah, the the graphics you might notice are very representational. Uh, so yeah. Uh, part of that is just because um, instead of uh, instead of going graphics heavy, I decided to go. I said decided to save like comp all the computational power or as much computational power as possible to make the the game board as interesting as possible, um, even just with representational shapes. Um, right. So uh, what what we're seeing here is the uh, the hero character is the dude in the center, um, the like the yellow guy that's that's like ostensibly you, um, and. Uh, so the uh, so these these things that keep appearing at the top and that I keep putting at the bottom are um, are power ups. So the first some of the first ones that I got are uh, this bombs power up. So uh, whenever I hit the bombs button, like there's a small explosion on the field and like dudes get thrown into the air. Uh, the other this other one is dash. So when I hit it, I'll like dash to a uh, location and then again dudes get thrown up into the air. You'll notice that dudes tend to get thrown up into the air. Uh, and then these other modifiers. Oh, uh, so the other thing that I'm doing with them. Is that I'm actually applying them to this block here, which is uh, it's supposed to represent the hero itself, uh, kind of. Although it's also like the phase counter. It's a, it's a little, I don't know. But uh, oh, I keep forgetting to remove that notify. Hold on. Uh, sorry, just one sec. Uh, remove uh, uh, escape notify or print. Uh, so. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was like Chuak Six or Wak Six, um, but I. Uh, oh, but yeah, but this is as good enough time as I need to point out. Um, I I mispronounce stuff a lot, so if anyone wants to hear me mispronounce a specific word, feel free to to ask in chat. I will mispronounce whatever you would like to hear me mispronounce. Um, but yeah, back to the game. Um, so so yeah, so uh, whenever you get a, a power up, that's not a. Uh, an ability, it's a modifier, and so uh, you can apply modifiers to any of your uh, abilities or directly to here itself. That's what I've actually been doing. I'm playing through on this uh, on this time. I'm I'm stacking all of my uh, modifiers on um, on my hero just to see how that plays out, um, to see if it's overpowered or underpowered or how how that goes, um, and. Uh, yeah, so so it's a game kind of about like it's about customization. It's about like um, this this like battlefield space that we have. And uh, oh um, yeah, so the the most of the mobs you'll notice are like most of the green mobs are green and purple mobs are carrying um, little coins. But then some of them are carrying explosive devices. And uh, so the reason I'm like frantically clicking around the map is whenever I see a mob carrying one of those little explosive devices, like you'll see here, if uh, if I just leave it alone, it'll start to flash. And then after it flashes a few times, it'll detonate and like take out a good chunk of the field. Um, so yeah, so so it's been, yeah, it's kind of like uh, so the uh, yeah the point of the game is to, like is to manage your modifiers and to use your abilities as effectively as possible to. Um... Oh, it totally doesn't work. All right, so I'm not imagining that. Oops, uh, I didn't mean to stop the simulation. I meant to just pause it. Uh, but no, I'm totally not imagining. It. Uh, Power three doesn't work the first time. And why is that? Uh, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, sorry. I just I don't know. I I have a uh, I really I really like um, hearing about like the origins of names, but just coincidence coincidentally, I'm really terrible at pronouncing them. Also, so I, I apologize for mispronouncing. Your name a million times, but um, thank you for thank you for explaining that. I just I don't know. I like to. I, I don't know. I get maybe it's because I hope to get better. I hope someday that I will. Uh, oh right, um, for the, yeah for the Ludum Diary October challenge, I actually I meant to wrap this project like this. I started this project. I technically I started it back in July, and I was planning on just like working on it for a couple weeks, but then I got really distracted from it, and I it wasn't actually until like later in August that I actually started working on it in earnest, and then it, it was supposed to, like, wrap up pretty soon, like, I was only, like, start to finish, it was only supposed to take a couple of weeks, and so, like, I was pretty sure I was going to finish it before October, so that I could start on the October challenge immediately, but, um, at this point, it looks like it's going to take me until the end of the week, I'm so, yeah, so, so, I, 
uh, possibly Monday of next week will be the first day that I'm I'm working on the October challenge proper. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, I'll i be participating in the October challenge, although not, not specifically with this project. Um, this project is actually, it's it's one of uh, several like portfolio pieces that I'm putting together. The other two are on my website now, actually. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to put together like a few different games that um, uh, were kind of like representative of like the type of games that I would enjoy making or like you know the, the type of games that that i am inspired to make uh independently and um i wanted to show like a little diversity too uh all right yeah you 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 probably won't have to wait too long uh i mean so uh just to just to set expectations like the game is like us is like basically feature complete so very little will actually change between like this version and the um the final version the significant difference will just be that the final version will feel a lot better than this version um it'll have a... oh cool <laughs> i um yeah so yeah oh right because there's the link too right under the the, uh, the stream so you can probably you can probably you probably some of you have probably already found the uh, the link to my website and yeah they're just a. Uh... so i just want to make like a few like different games right like um i wanted to like display like kind of a like what like a but just some some amount of range in like uh in in my like game development portfolio i guess uh yeah and this is like the first time in in a long time that i'm working like independently like just like thoroughly independently uh i i did a six year stint in triple a which was fun but um i didn't get to i didn't get to make games like this which uh it's good to get back to um uh, so right okay so yeah we so yeah there's some uh some pretty big notes from the uh so some big some some smaller uh notes from that playthrough first thing i'm gonna do is remove the escape print because that just it 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 distracts me and uh i uh i keep forgetting to do it so uh it's uh yeah it is exactly this one uh i'm just gonna comment it out because it, it is actually really helpful um but uh, I just don't need it right now. In fact, I specifically need it gone right now. All right, so that's that was one. That was easy enough. Uh, I I kind of wanted to just try the mob diameter increase. Uh, <laughs> I maybe I shouldn't do that because um, I'm pretty sure if I do that, uh, it's gonna it's gonna make things it's gonna make at least something go haywire but uh i don't know i guess we can we can find out uh so right on start currently we're setting mob diameter to to be literally uh aren't we yeah we're setting oh we're setting we're just hard setting it to one all right well let's try it at like 1.5 Let's see what that does. Um, so, uh, yeah, you're probably... You might notice that as you play through um, the game, the, the number at the bottom of the screen ticks up, and the number at the top of the screen ticks down. Um, the number at the top of the screen is, like, your deck. Uh, like, whenever you, whenever you flip a new shape, you're flipping it from that supply. Um, and so, what, that, uh, it sounds like you're probably doing well. Um, like, cause if you can fill up the board in B box, uh, if you can fill up the board, you can, um, you get, uh, you get, like, you can replenish your stock, uh, and it sounds like you must be doing that, cause, uh, you can't, I don't, I mean, I guess technically it's possible to go, like, literally infinite and just have, like, infinite stock and, like, play literally forever, but, um, yeah, I think most, most of the time the game will play out over the course of about, like, five to eight minutes, um, because at, at some point your stock will probably dwindle. Um, I don't know if you found it yet, but in, um, I don't know why I'm just talking about it. I could always just show it. Um, yeah, so, uh, so this, this, uh, this number is your supply. And so when this gets to zero, that's essentially like one, one playthrough. I don't know if you found it yet, but the buttons at the top of the screen are your deck editor, or they bring you to the deck, deck editor. Um, and so, 
uh, yeah, like, you can actually, like, change the composition of, like, what shapes you get. Like, the S, S shapes are very unpopular with players, so, like, a lot of people will, will bottom those out. Um, I, uh, I like all the, the four shapes, although, I don't know, I, sometimes I'll get bit by the S shapes, too. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, between, like, between Grab and B-Box, I think B-Box is, was kind of, like, well, I spent more time on it. Grav, I, li I literally made Grav in a day. Um, I, 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 after that day, I spent more time working on Grav, and it became a lot more polished, like, several days later. But, um... What? I don't know. Sometimes, um... Sometimes I will hit, like, really bad bandwidth. Uh... Or, like, a, I'll, like... So, like, uh... I use, uh open broadcaster software is the name of the, the application and um like it gives you a little indicator um oh yeah thank you for uh thank you for stopping in and thank you for hosting uh always a pleasure to have you um yeah i don't know what uh all right <laughs> all right well that's weird uh oh cool <laughs> All right, well, yeah, part of the reason I wanted to put together a portfolio of, like, different games is because, you know, like, um, not everyone's going to like every game. Like, some people will, like, arcade -y. Yeah, so Grav was, like, my arcade like, uh, physics-based, like, brick breaker type of stab. And then um, after making a game that, like, gets so frantic and so fast-paced, I wanted to make one that's a little more, like, cerebral or, like, a, you know, just a little more, like... Um, like, you're not going to hyperventilate playing <laughs> uh, B-Box, so yeah. Um, uh, huh. Interesting. I, uh... Hey, I'm here Zoom Next. How's it going? Welcome back. <laughs> uh, and thank you everyone for tuning in, just in general. I, uh, yeah, this is, uh, I, I just, I just like that chat's, uh, lively. It's, it's, it's nice. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's cool to, to just, like, do the, uh, the calm and steady, like, uh, solo, like, whatever development thing, but I, it's just way more interesting whenever, <laughs> whenever people are here and they're chatting about stuff, so. Yeah, thank you guys for, for, for tuning in. Thank you for uh, for checking out the, the projects on my site. Um, I uh, Actually, uh, it's an old build, so it's... I probably shouldn't even... I should, probably shouldn't even mention it, because it's, like, it's really old at this point and really broken. But um, or it's just, like, much less balanced than, uh, than my other ones. But if you go to srsly.bz slash hero, I guess I'll put it in chat. It's, like, it's really broken. So like the 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 thing that the reason I'm linking this um was well, is in part so that you can you guys can try it but um I I really need to emphasize that this build is from several days ago and it's super broken like it's it's the, you so <laughs> after if you play this build you'll probably realize why I'm putting such an emphasis on that thank you <laughs> um, I uh, I love it. I. I mean, one of my favorite things is, like, when people actually, like, play the games that I make. It's just, like, I don't know. Such a simple joy. Um, and so, yeah, I really appreciate that you guys are checking them out. And, um, yeah, if you want to, you can try this older build of Hero. It's from, I think it's from, like, Tuesday morning. Or, no, it's from, like, Tuesday afternoon. But, uh, I, yeah, it's, uh, it's just, it's just constantly getting, uh, oh, yeah, um, uh, if you just click once on a piece, it'll rotate. Uh, yeah, I was, um, I'm targeting mobile with a lot of these projects, which is why they, uh, they kind of stand tall rather than wide, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I've been, I don't know, I've, so for, the, I put, um, in, a in VBox I made it so that if you just click once on a, a shape, um, it will rotate, but then, like, on mobile, some people, like, try and do a multi-touch to, like, they, like, try and, like, tap and, like, multi-touch rotate spin to rotate um yeah there you go right. um so i'm not sure about that i might i might change it like i don't want to take out tap to rotate because I, I like tap to rotate but i might have to make it more discoverable or something 
Um, cause, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'll, uh, it, I mean, that's, that's really key. Like if you don't know how to, if, uh, until you know how to rotate pieces, like you're going to be at a, a, a disadvantage in the game. So I, I just, I enjoy this project. I, I won't play more than like two rounds, just 